Hey guys, I've gotten a lot of questions about how to run the custom decals that are available in the Discord folder and how to run those in game. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right this second. So the first step in order to get this in game is we need to figure out how to get there. First thing we're going to do is you're going to head over to the first link in the description below, which is going to be Baka's mod. Um, I'm sure many of you have it. Super awesome training tool. It also lets you get custom things in game, like items that you don't have, like alpha boost, the alpha items. You can get a ton of those for free and just on box mod. Unfortunately, you'll be the only one able to see them, but still pretty cool. You're able to use those things. Yeah, so download box mod. I'm not going to download because I already have it. But first link, you need to download box mod. Only PC right now. So unfortunately, if you're on console, you're not going to be able to use it. But if you are on PC, make sure you have box mod downloaded. And then from there, we're actually going to go to the second link, which is going to be the alpha console. All right. And this is what's going to allow us to port certain features into the game, like our custom decals. So if I pop on over to Rocket League, if I hit F2, this pulls up Baka's mod, which like right here, you can see alpha boost is pulled up. Um, you can get like white octane, purple octane, pink octane. You name it, you can pull it up all in this box mod. And again, that's only by hitting F2 brings up this menu. A um, ton of really cool different things in here that you can use. But the items are the main thing. And so that's box mod. That's hitting F2. Now if I hit F5, that's what's going to bring in the alpha console. It'll probably bring you up to this page here. You want to head over to cosmetics. And that's where you're going to find the goods of what we need. Down here, you can see decal texture mod. And right now I have it on Wolfpack main, which is the decal that I have loaded in. But I'm gonna show you guys how to get your own decal in there real quick. So after you've downloaded the first link, Baka's mod, the second link, the alpha console, you're also gonna need the third link, all right? And that's gonna take you to this folder right here. Just download it. And it's also actually available in our Discord server. If you go to the blank decals, I have all the decals here for you guys. You can download them. Octane, there's a photo version of it to edit with Paint 3D and things like that. There's a Photoshop texture package. And then there's also the, the, the uh, coding package itself. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the coding for that and everything in just a couple minutes. But there's one for the Masame, Dominus, and I have a Fennec one somewhere that I'll upload here eventually. But these are all your decals, and you can download them again from blank decals down under downloads. When you get to the server, you just go all the way down. We have the custom decals, the cut how to use custom decal folders. That's where I'm going to be posting this video. But then also the blank decals right here if you want to experiment with making something yourself. But anyways, enough about that. Let's go ahead and let's jump on back to our screen real quick. You can download the whole folder right here. But let's go ahead and jump in now. So if I go ahead and exit out of Rocket League here. Exit Rocket League. We're going to minimize the screen. We're going to minimize Discord. So first things first. My screen refreshes here. All I did was I just pulled up the blank Octane decal. Um, the same one that you got out of the Discord service right down here. You just download that and you open it up and it pulls up this picture. I don't have Photoshop, so I like to use it with Paint 3D. So you're going to click Edit, you're going to go over to Paint 3D, and then from there it's going to pull up this. You can exit out of the photo because it's made a copy of it inside of Paint 3D now. So once you're inside of Paint 3D, this is where you can edit your decal to whatever you see fit. Um, Photoshop is a little bit easier, so I'll go ahead and try to help you guys out a little bit. Basically, right here, this is going to be your top of the fender. Go ahead and make this smaller. So this is going to be the top of your fender right here. And it's going to be your front. Go ahead and crank that down so you guys can see it. Um, make it a little smaller here. Okay. That looks good. So this is your top front fender right here. 
And then if we go right over here, this is going to be your top back. Whoops. Text. Top back under of the octane. We got a couple more. These are both going to be the bottom. This one right here is going to be bottom. And then that one is going to be front as well. And the way you can tell that this is the front is you see that it matches that shape right there. And this one, how it goes almost all the way around on the rim, it's almost all the way around there. So we know that this one is our bottom and back fender. So that is our fenders all set, all taken care of. Top front, top back, bottom front, bottom back. All right. These little segments right here are actually what's going to be the front bumpers of the car. Um, and I'll, I'll point those out more once you get in game. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and boot up Rocket League just so I can point those out to you real quick so you guys can customize your own decals exactly how you want it. While we boot up the Rocket League, it's booting up actually already. Perfect. We'll go ahead and boot on up. It'll look kind of poopy because we're on this comic map. But nevertheless, it still works. Um, F5 Cosmetics. And Wolfpack Main. There it goes. So basically, right here, these three segments, you see me pointing to right here, are going to be these three segments right here on the very front, all right? So you're gonna wanna make those colors the same colors as the body of your car, which is gonna be the left, the right side, the body of the car, and the right side, all right? These two fenders right here are actually what's gonna be underneath the car right down here. You can kinda see it right there, I made it blue. But that's what, these two segments are going to be. This, of course, right here is the top of your spoiler, which is right back here. And then you might also notice this wing right here. This wing is the outside part of your spoiler wing, inside part of your spoiler wing. And then there's a little flat spot in the middle of the wing. So we have outside wing. You can see on this side is the inside of the wing. But that flat part is what this is right here. So if you want to make that a different color, just add some pop to it. You can do that with this right here. And again, this part and these two parts are this front bumper again. So we have the main body. We have the top, front, middle, back. Let's go ahead and we'll paint this real quick. We'll, we'll give it something cool. Um, let's go, we'll go pink. Um, and there's, there's certain ways you can go about doing some cool things with gradients. Unfortunately, you can't do them in Paint 3D. But you can actually take a gradient picture offline and upload it that way. And actually, let's let's throw a logo on it. Let's throw a logo. Um, let's see. Something I haven't done in a while. Um, here, we'll just throw a rank. We'll throw one of the rank logos on it. I'm not even sure what rank this is. We're going to throw it on there. So you clicked Add Sticker. We have our rank right here. It's a little blurry because we made it super small when I made the original. But we're just using this as proof of concept. So this is a silver decal. And what we're going to do from there, we have a decal on the car. This looks good to us, we'll say. All right, we've got everything labeled. What you're going to do from here is you're going to go over save. You're going to save it as an image. And it doesn't matter what you call it, but you're going to need, need to be able to find it in a minute. I usually call it like silver underscore oct or whatever the team name is underscore oct and then you're going to save it all right from there we're actually going to have to restart rocket league because when you update these files that's what's gonna when you reboot it that's what's going to make it update but we're not done just yet so now you have bacchus mod you're going to open this little bacchus mod update folder you're going to go over here to files and open Bacchus Mod folder. So once you open, whoops, I just exited out. Once you have Box Mod open, you're going to find this little pop up. Again, File, Open Folder. From there, you're going to see the Data folder. 
and you want to click data you're going to see ac plugin and that stands for alpha console plugin but you downloaded and then in here you can see everything that we can update within alpha console you can update antennas you can do ball textures banner textures custom banners you can do controllers, gold textures, toppers, wheels. You can edit literally any cosmetic. But here, you're here for the decal textures. You're going to open up the decal textures folder within this. Now, my recommendation is that you just take this folder and then you just save this as a shortcut on your home screen. You can actually see if I move this right here. Decal textures right up here. I have it saved as a, a shortcut on my computer. So I just have to double click it and it pops me right here. And that's the easiest way to do it. Once you're in this folder, save it as a shortcut. That way you can come back to it later. You see I have a ton going on here. Yours won't look anything like this. Yours will have the Hyper Beast decal. So I'll actually go ahead and rename this real quick. A project I've been working on. But Hyper Beast Diffuse will be the original decal that's in here. You'll see Hyper Beast Mask. You'll see Hyper Beast Chassis. And those are the three things that you'll see within this folder. So what you're going to do to get your new decal folder in here is you're going to make a new folder, so new folder. And we're just going to call this new folder silver decal or whatever you want to call it. All right. So that silver decal within that, we're actually going to take this texture package here. Right. We're going to take the chassis and we're going to copy it. Right to go to silver decal and you're going to paste those right so we literally just took again you'll see hyper beast diffuse decal you'll see hyper beast chassis and you'll see the texture package those are the three things that you'll see in your folder and the mask but you don't really need the mask because you'll see if we go in here I actually do have the mask interesting so you are going to need the mask you're going to copy that and you're going to put it right here on your folders. You have chassis, mask, and the texture package. All right. And then from there, you'll see that in all these other folders. Whoops, not that one. You'll see in all these other folders that I have them renamed. And that's for a reason. Because when we open up the texture package, right, we're going to tell it what we need to open. All right. So we're going to have to rename some of these things. So we're going to go to our silver decal. The mask, we're going to rename oct underscore mask. We're going to do that real quick. We're going to take it from hyperbeast mask and we're going to make it oct underscore mask. All right. And then when you open up this texture package, we're going to make sure that it's updated here. So instead of hyperbeast underscore mask, we oct underscore mask. All right. And then you're going to save it. That's under skin, oct underscore mask. We're telling it we want this oct underscore mask. Let me make sure I have my capitalization right because it has to exactly match what's in the folder. So oct underscore mask is now going to match exactly what's there. Looking over, I, I call it blank chassis just because what I did with it is I took some of the logos that was for the Hyper Beast chassis and I updated it. I'm actually going to go ahead and copy that one on over just to just to save some time here. But blank chassis. And again, in the texture package, we're going to let it know instead of hyper beast chassis, you want it to open up blank chassis. You see how we just update that to exactly what we want. We're going to save it. So we have it telling oct mask for the skin and then diffuse blank chassis under the chassis. Here, right. And we're saving it each time. So now it comes time to insert our decal itself. So I'm just going to open up our downloads. We see right here, Silver Oct is our file for our Octane. And it didn't save properly. W. My computer does that all the time. Yep, couldn't save. So anyways, we're going to save our decal again. We're going to call it Silver underscore Oct. There we go, it saved that time. So when I come over here now, now we can pull it up. We're just gonna drag our file on into our silver decal folder. And now we see it silver underscore oct. 
but we don't want to name it that, right? We want to name it once it's in this folder, oct underscore diffuse, all right? And then we're going to go over to texture package one more time. And instead of hyper V's diffuse, we're going to have it do, you saw it, oct underscore diffuse, all right? And you're going to hit save. So everything matches exactly. I need to make sure I, I capitalize that properly here. Oct, capital, and then use capital. As long as these all match exactly what you put in here, you're going to be fine. All right. The last thing that you need to do, all right, when you want to rename it, the top here where it says Hyper Beast, you're going to name it whatever you want to call your decal. We'll call it silver. All right. So we have silver for the name. We told it to upload blank chassis. We told to upload octafuse for our actual decal. And for the skin, we told it to upload oct mass. So we want to make sure we save that. Everything is all set in the code. All right? That's the code. We told it to upload blank chassis, octafuse, and oct mask. So now you'll see your original hyperbeast. You'll see the texture package. But then you'll also see this one folder. I have a bunch, but you'll see one folder that is silver decal. And then from there, you're actually going to be good to go. All right? Because, that, whoa. How did that get moved around? But anyways, you'll be good to go at that point. So we're going to open up Rocket League again. And then you'll see once it boots up, we'll be able to find silver decal within the game files. So Rocket League is booting up here. Again, we just hit F5. Once the game updates, so you hit F5 to pull up our cosmetics. And in decal texture mod, you're going to go ahead and find your decal. We called it silver. You click on it. And just like that, bada boom, you see we have our silver decal. Again, it wasn't super pixelated right, but you see we have top front, top back. You can flip it over. You see you have bottom back, and then you'll see bottom front up here. Yeah, that's how you get your custom decal into the game. Couple couple hints. Make sure you put it on both teams. You can put it on separate teams. So if I went to my garage right now and switched to the orange team, it'll pop up with the other decal. So you got to make sure these two match, unless you want to run it with the same decal on both, or a different decal on both. But again, that's how you rock with the custom decals. It's all within this folder in getting the textures, the codes to match. Um, if you're having some problems, something you can do is rename the original Hyper Beast Diffuse, which is the original decal. That if I go ahead and pop that in here, it's like a proof of concept decal that shows you that the game is working properly. But if you want, you can actually rename the original Hyper Beast decal. And just add some random text after it. So, for example, I just do Hyper Beast like 69. And then you're going to rename another decal Hyper Beast underscore diffuse. And once you do that, the next time you boot up Rocket League, it will boot up your decal under Hyper Beast Diffuse. I use that a lot when I'm editing a certain decal a lot because I don't have to create a new folder for it and keep going back and forth. It's just easy, it's right there. So that's definitely an option if you're having trouble doing the coding with the folders. But as always, if you do have any questions, just let me know. We can work it out from there. But I hope this helps. And until next time, I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks.